So this video describe how to draw a sneak chart using MATLAB. So about sneak chart, sneak chart which have two axes. It is just looking like a just normal plot. Okay. So this plot have two axes. One is real reflection coefficient axis or row y axis, another is imaginary row y axis, right? So the real row y axis is along x axis and imaginary row y axis is along y axis. Now, mid chart have two circles. One is R circle, another is X circle. These two circles represent real and imaginary part of the complex normalized load impedance. Now, load impedance, capital ZL, if we divide capital ZL with the characteristic impedance Z0, we can get normalized load impedance and that is represented by small r plus j small x. Now, the expression of reflection coefficient, we can represent it as ZL minus Z0 capital ZL minus capital Z0 divided by capital ZL plus capital Z0. If we divide both numerator and denominator with the characteristic impedance Z0, we can get small ZL which is normalized load impedance minus 1 divided by small ZL plus 1. Now we can also represent rho reflection coefficient as a complex quantity and can be represented as rho r plus j rho i. Now from this expression, if we replace small j del by r plus j in both numerator and denominator and equate, equate real part and imaginary part separately from both the side of this equation, we can find out small r equals to 1 minus rho r square minus rho i square divided by 1 minus rho r whole square plus rho i square and small x as 2 rho i by 1 minus rho r whole square plus rho i square. Now from these two expressions, small r and small x in terms of rho r and rho i, we can find out from the expression of small r, we can find out if we arrange this equation of small r, we can find out it represents a equation of circle which is represented by rho r minus r by 1 plus r whole square plus rho i square equals to 1 by 1 plus r square. Now, as this is a general expression of a circle, resembles as a general expression of circle, so it has both center and radius. Center of this circle, this is called r circle, equation of r circle. So, the equation of r circles have a center at r by 1 plus r comma 0 and radius at 1 by 1 plus r, right? Now, again, if we rearrange the expression of small x, we can get the general expression for x circle and this is represented by rho r minus 1 whole square plus rho i minus 1 by x whole square equals to 1 by x square. Similarly, this equation also represents a general equation of circle and it have both center at 1 comma 1 by x and it, it radius will be 1 by x. Now how to generate these two circles, x circles and y circles using MATLAB. So the first step is to generate a function which represents this circle first. So uh, you can see from here that function plot circle x c y c uh, r comma a1 comma a2 so this is a general uh, writing procedure of a function right and all the functions which we have uh, written in this uh, video all these functions should be saved in one particular folder okay so that if we call one function and operate another function this will be successfully operated right and this x c y c these are the center of this circle r is the radius of the circle a1 and a2 is the minimum and maximum value of the uh, angle through which we have to move right along the circle now for this purpose we have to take another variable small t 
between a1 and a2 and this should be divided into 360 points. Now the x coordinate uh, of this circle can be written as x e plus r cos t and y coordinate can be written as y c plus r sin t. Now if we plot x comma y we can find out all this circle right. Now just run this function plot circle with for different for different variables x e y c r e 1 a 2 in the comment window of your MATLAB. Now if we plot plot circle or if we run plot circle uh, for for the uh, for the center 0 0 radius 1 and and if we uh, vary the angle between 0 to pi by 2 we can find out this kind of circle. If we plot 0 comma 0 1 and the angle varies between 0 to pi we can find out half circle right. So if we plot 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 to 2 pi we can find out a complete circle right. So this plot circle will be used for will be used in our next function. Now we have to generate R circle and X circle separately. So for this purpose we have to write another function plot smith chart. For generating R circles we have to uh, take the coordinate X coordinate as 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and YC should be uh, should be considered as 0. So if we uh, go through a for loop which will be run between 1 to length of xc and if we call that plot circle again here and write xci yc 1 comma xi xci and angle between 0 to 2 pi because we have to draw the complete circle and if we write hold on then end then for all this value of xc this circles will be drawn. Now for generating our circles we have to take two plot circle function right because one for positive imaginary part of x circle another is negative imaginary part of x circle. Now why these two uh, portion have been required because x uh, it may be inductive or may be capacitive because x may be positive may be negative. So for this purpose we have to write two separate code plot circle x c y c j y c j a 1 3 by 2 pi another one is x c minus y c j y c j pi by 2 comma 2 pi minus a 1 j right now for uh, x circle we have to consider y c at 0.5 1 2 and at 4 and x c should be equal to 1 right and for this purpose we have to take a1 as 2.5 comma pi comma 3.79 comma 4.22 and again we have to write hold on after two plot circle within the for loop and if we write end and this function will be ended by the last end right so this will create the R circles if we only uh, run only this R circles in the command window we can find out this kind of circles where the radius increases as if the radius R increases the periphery of the circle has been reduced you can see from here because this small r is the normalized resistance not the radius right so if the normalized resistance increases the radius of the circle become decreases right also if you remember from the previous slide that the radius of the um, r circle is inversely proportional to the r therefore you can find out from here that as we increase small r the value of small r the radius of the circle decreases also at r equals to infinity 
the radius of the circle becomes zero and it represented by a single dot now for x circle the positive part of the x circle that represented by x equals to 4 x equals to 2 x equals to 1 a negative part represented by x equals to minus 1 x equals to minus 2 x equals to minus 4 from here you can also see that as the value of x increases the radius of the x circle has also been reduced and for x equals to 0 we will find out a straight line which will be at y axis equals to 0 right okay now if we superimpose this to graph we can find out this kind of plot and this is basically known as smith chart now we have to describe uh, vividly this smith chart also one thing has been uh, has to be mentioned that along x axis we have been plot row r that means the real part of reflection coefficient and along y axis we have been plot imaginary reflection now this is a smith chart okay so this point represented by open circuited or open termination which represented by r equals to infinity and x equals to also infinity so as r and x is infinity therefore this point this particular point represented as open termination now at this point you can find out that both the reflection coefficient real value and imaginary value become equals to zero therefore this point represented a complete flow or complete propagation of the incident wave through transmission line so this point represented as mesh termination and at this point small r equals to one you can find out because this circle represent r, r equals to one circle and at this point a straight line of x passing through that point so x is equals to zero at this point now this point at this point the value of r circle is equals to zero also x is equals to zero because this point at this point that straight line passing through rho i equals to zero point has been considered therefore this point represented short termination or short circuited and here r equals to 0 x equals to 0 right so r is basically smaller is the real part of normalized load impedance and small x is the imaginary part of normalized load impedance so thanks for watching i think this will be helpful for writing code to generate smith chart Please like and share this video, subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon for more updates. Thank you.